Now we move to the final two rounds of platform diving. First to check of the standings through the first three rounds, and Cynthia would begin round four with last year's Diver of the Year from USC. And it's Blythe Hartley, the senior from Southern California, not necessarily a platform diver anymore, but doing this for team points for Southern Cal. An arm stand, back double somersault pike. She's in seventh place after the third round of five rounds total. Perfect arm stand, demonstrating control. Very nice dive. She decided not to dive platform anymore because she wants to concentrate on springboard for the next Olympic Games for Canada. And that is just a beautiful stretch into the water with a little too much splash to receive a lot of eights. Amanda Miller from Purdue, a junior, an arm stand back double somersault with one and a half twists. It's a lot of dive to say and it's even more dive to do. The women do not have to do an arm stand from the platform but they may choose to. She was a gymnast, so she does a very nice arm stand there, supposed to demonstrate control, and that's what she did beautifully as she came off the platform to wrap up the somersaults and the twists. You see, as she goes in the water, she grabs her hands, and she over-rotates just slightly, and that's why we saw that big splash. Now, Taryn Ignacio. From the University of Kentucky, junior Taryn Ignacio. Arm stand, back double somersault, one and a half twist, free position. Taryn's fourth round dive, an arm stand. She was a gymnast and she has beautiful control over this arm stand. A back double with one and a half twist. And she admits that she struggled a bit this year. It's been stressful on the team. There's her coach, Mike Lydon, who was diagnosed with cancer in October. And it's been a tough year. He just finished his chemo treatments two weeks ago. And he's waiting to find out how things are. Lindsey Weigel, Jr. from Indiana. Reverse two and a half somersault tuck position. She's in third place and she cannot catch Taryn Ignacio from Kentucky. No matter whether she would score tens, which is the maximum the judges could award, she cannot catch first place. That's how much of a lead Taryn Ignacio from Kentucky has. And this is a beautiful dive, particularly the entry into the water. No splash. Look at this. Wow. The splash just barely comes up, and that's why she received a lot of nines on this dive. Gorgeous dive. Jessica Livingston, sophomore from the University of Texas. And Jessica performs a reverse two and a half, and she needs eight and a halves to go into third place at this point in the contest, and that dive will not yield the eight and a halves, but it will receive some sevens. It's a nice, neat dive. It just needs to be a little bit more dynamic and a little bit more vertical going in the water. Ray Wong, senior from the University of Hawaii. She needs nines on this dive to go ahead of Taryn Ignacio. I think she'll receive some eights. It's a very nice jump off the platform. There's a coach at Hawaii, Mike Brown, but she pikes a little bit, bends at the waist as she goes in the water, so I don't think she will receive the nines, but it's certainly a technically well-performed dive, and it will keep her in the top three. So here's a look at the standings through four rounds. Still atop the leaderboard, Taryn Ignacio of Kentucky, followed by Ray Wong and Lindsey Weigel. Back to the final round after this. We welcome you back to Gabrielson Natatorium in Athens, Georgia. Here's the final round of diving from the 10-meter platform. Blythe Hartley, final dive, the senior from USC. Inward two and a half somersault pike in seventh place. And saves a couple of her best dives for the last two rounds, which will serve her well, but she was a little bit back in the contest, so I don't expect her to be in the top three. And we know that she swept the springboard contest, but she will not win on the platform, but she hasn't been training there, and she's doing this all for the glory of USC and the points. Amanda Miller, junior from Purdue. It's her highest degree of difficulty dive, a back two and a half with one and a half twists. 
Wow, that was her best dive by far. And because of the high degree of difficulty, it's gonna yield very high points. She will receive some eights on this dive and come close to scoring 80 points on this dive, which is a huge dive for women. So this should move her up in the contest, but the best divers are yet to come. Final dive for Indiana sophomore Christina Lucas. Christina is so talented, only a sophomore, and she's got a great career, not only in collegiate diving, but in international diving as well. And you see this beautiful arm stand demonstrating control. And that's one of her cleanest entries into the water. Christina sometimes has trouble going in the water and minimizing the splash, but this was very clean. And uh, she had a little break on the beginning of the dive as she went into the somersaults, and that's why she might not receive a whole lot of eights, but it's a, certainly a pretty dive. Kentucky coach Mike Lighton. They call him Iron Mike watching Taryn Ignacio's final dive. And he's done just an amazing job coming to 75% of the workouts. Taryn Ignacio, his diver in first place going into this round. And she has dived beautifully. This would be a huge win for cancer survivor Iron Mike. That's what they call him at the University of Kentucky. And he is excited about this one. He has a CT scan coming up to find out if his treatments are working or not. And uh, Taryn has just done him beautifully. And he knows it. Lindsey Weigel, Jr. from Indiana. Back one and a half somersault, three and a half twist, free position. Lindsey needs nine and a halves to go ahead of Taryn Ignacio from Kentucky. Nine and a halves. What an order out of 10 points. It's a very nicely performed dive, but it will not receive nine and a halves to go ahead of the leader at the moment, Taryn Ignacio. But it's very well done. It's a back one and a half and wrapping up those twists, staying very straight in the twist. The feet are crossed slightly, and there will be a slight deduction for that, but that should put her in one of the top three positions. Jessica Livingston for the University of Texas, back two and a half somersault, one and a half twist pike position. Jessica's jumps have improved so much off the platform. She does a beautiful back two and a half with one and a half twist, and it's her highest degree of difficulty dive. And look at this jump, very assertive, very aggressive. If she can tighten down in her knees, straighten those knees just a little bit more, before she goes in the water, that dive would receive nines. Terrific dive, over 80 points, wow. The final diver, senior from the University of Hawaii, Ray Wong, a back one and a half somersault, three and a half twist, free position, 3.2 degree of difficulty. Pressure's on, she needs eights to win the contest, and she will not get it. She over-rotated, it looked like she was very aggressive, had some adrenaline going for her, and she just couldn't control the somersault, the speed of the somersault, and she over-rotates which puts Taryn Ignacio, the junior from Kentucky, in first place and winning the title for Kentucky after a very stressful year with Iron Mike, the adored, beloved coach at the University of Kentucky. A milestone win for Kentucky. Taryn Ignacio, the victor in platform diving. Down on deck, here's Cynthia with our winner. Congratulations, Taryn. First woman Kentucky diver ever to win a national title. I know y'all have been through a lot this year. Reflect it a little bit. Uh, it has been a tough year. Mike hasn't been there at every practice, but he tried his best to be there, and it's been um, a year of self-motivation and team support. Mike, how great is this for you and Taryn and your family? Oh, this is wonderful. This is, this, is, this is a dream to get a girl to win a national champion, and a girl that I started diving get, doesn't get any better. Well done, both of you.